Hi, this is Amy Whalen. Thanks so much for stopping by at Amy's Inklings. Today we're going to make this greeting card. I made it last night with the current Freshly Made Sketches challenge in mind. So let's go ahead and get started. Of course, the base of the card is Whisper White that's folded down to four and a quarter by five and a half. But that's not the fun part. All right, the fun part, one of them, is we're going to use the large polka dot embossing folder to create the bottom part of the card, okay? So I have the Big Shot, and I put it on the one platform that comes with the Big Shot, and we're going to sandwich a plate with the embossing folder and you simply put cardstock inside close it up put it on the plate put the other plate down and crank it through now when I do this my camera is going to shake so bear with me and I always like to go backwards just to double check that it's a good impression and here you go isn't that lovely? It's so much fun. Let me move this over. Okay, so now we have the polka dots. Now what I did beforehand is I used the Kinda Eclectic stamp set and this big sundial to heat emboss the top on Daffodil Delight cardstock. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down. Where is my, here we go. Oops. And we'll put that at the top. Now this piece of Whisper White cardstock that I just embossed with the circles, it's cut a little bit smaller. I cut this one at four inches by five and a quarter. That's what this was. And then this, I just eyeballed it. Um, so that just goes at the top. All right. Now, <clears throat> what I did add was a piece of the Polka Dot Designer Series paper. I'll go ahead and get some glue on that. That's from the Brights collection and that goes right underneath. Okay. No, actually, you know what? I didn't do it right underneath. I had a little bit of a gap. Okay, we'll put that there. The next thing we're going to do is use some of our silver ribbon and that's going to go right there. And I have found that the best way to do this is with scotch tape. So we'll go ahead and tape that down. Let's get the first side. Make sure it's in the right place. Okay. And then the other side. Very simple. There we go. All right, and then in our occasions catalog, we have these gorgeous embellishments called Something Borrowed. I've used them sparingly because I'm one of those people that if I like something a lot, I don't want to use them because then I won't have them anymore. It's an illness, I know. But we're going to use it today, and I'll attach it with a glue dot. And that goes right on top of the center of the sun. Now you've got to see this. If you don't have any of these of, on your own, I highly recommend them. They're so beautiful and they add the perfect touch to a card. Alright, let me move these things out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use the Crazy About You stamp set to create this greeting. Now this particular card, I used a stamp set that came from one of our Celebration stamp sets, but since Celebration has since ended, I'll use something else for this one. We're going to use Hello Sunshine together, okay? So I took a little piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm using our Memento. I have Hello on one side of this block and Sunshine on the other, and I'm actually going to stamp sunshine first. And here's a little tidbit of advice. I always tell my 
students or my club members always practice on a piece of scratch paper just to get the feel for what the stamp feels like and when it stamps. Now I'm going to do hello right on top. There, perfect. Isn't that awesome when that happens when you're filming? Love it. All right, this is a one and three quarter by seven and an eighth inch scallop. I believe in the catalog it's referred to as the large scallop, not extra large, but large. Okay, I want room for something at the bottom. So I'm gonna do it right there. Okay. And then we're gonna back that with the large scallop oval. And I'm going to cut a little bit of Daffodil Delight for that. Okay. Now, on this card, I put what looks like candy dots. I don't have candy dots, so this is what I did in a pinch, and it seemed to have worked. This is our 1 8 of an inch circle punch, and since this middle section is going to be covered up, I'm going to use that. And then you open it up. And there are your candy dots. So let's go ahead and get this attached. See, we're going to cover up those holes. So you might as well stamp the inside of that so you don't muck up another piece of cardstock. That's good. All right, now this is one of these handy tools that Stampin' Up! doesn't carry. I hope they do one day. It's called the Pick Me Up, and it makes attaching things tiny so much easier. I'm actually going to start by putting the glue down the middle dot first, okay? And that way I can gauge where the one on the right and the left will go, okay? And let's see if I can do this. You pick it up with this sticky stuff and you put it down. My hands are shaking a little bit. I just had a huge brunch with family. We did it a day early for Easter. And then we'll put that next one down. Okay. And the next one down. So I think I'm shaking because of all the caffeine. Okay, perfect. Now that's done. All right. We're going to go ahead and put the card together while that dries. I need my dimensionals. We'll go ahead and carefully put two on the back side of here. Come on, mister. And we'll put that there. Isn't that cute? See, so if you don't have candy dots, you can make do with our one eighth of an inch circle punch. And then I'm going to pop this part up too. And of course, the base of the card, um, again, is Whisper White that I cut to eight and a half by, um, what is it, five and a half, and then I folded it to the folded size. I can't do the numbers. I'm telling you, I've had too much caffeine. Woof! Maybe I need to go take it, have another cup of coffee. Would that cancel out the first? I don't know. Put that on top. There's something about white on white that I like when you pop it up with the dimensional, like here. There's just something about it I really enjoy. All right, and that is it. Super simple card to make. And like I said, it's super sunshiny for spring and summer. Thanks so much for stopping by Amy's Inklings. Come back another day for another tutorial. Bye-bye.